Welcome to Future News. Please select a category. Today, for the first time since the beginning of the automotive era, statistics have reported zero fatal accidents worldwide. Experts credit this to the massive efforts during the past decades to make individual mobility more intelligent and let cars drive autonomously. Coincidentally, the best air quality in metropolises all over the world has also been recorded this year. Not very long ago, cars did not exchange information with each other or their surroundings and also could not yet safely take over critical driving tasks. Also, drivers were not yet convinced of the benefits of eco-friendly mobility. In the past, massive challenges have been tackled by both politics and the automotive industry, gradually improving from the introduction of assistance systems to highly automated cars in all segments. Also, great investments into e-mobility and the needed infrastructure have been made. Both initiatives have now paid off in full. Thank you for using Future News Interface. Charts generated from this feed have been sent to support your presentation today at 11.30. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the here and now. Well, we still have a lot to do before you as the media representatives can report such positive news that you have just seen in the news feed. But for us, what's thinkable is also possible. And today at IAA, I would like to show you just that, show you how we are focusing on the future. Vision Zero is a clearly defined objective for us. Zero accidents, zero emissions in this world. This is what the zero means for us. And if you know your destination, you also will also find a way to get there. And I believe that we have found this way. It's our road to vision zero from the year 2017 on to the future. It's a worthwhile objective, especially in this transition phase that the automotive industry is currently in. So these are the right objectives that will promote us and help us in our product portfolio. And at the end, we will all benefit if the number of accidents go down and the emissions are reduced. So it's worthwhile to have a foresightedness and perseverance because we still have 1.25 million of road fatalities per year worldwide. And in Germany, the um, number of accidents even go up, but fortunately road fatalities go down. But we have already made the first steps. Also, with the technology that we have today, we have been combating the causes of accidents in our concept vehicle Vision Zero, and I um, invite you to have a look at it in the outdoor exhibition space, the new mobility world, we show you some of these technologies. Um, let me give you three examples. The first one is the driver distraction assist. So this is a system that can detect that the driver is distracted and unable to steer the car. It doesn't only alarm the driver, but it can also safely steer the vehicle through um, corners or routes. Next one is the wrong way inhibit, which prevents you from becoming a wrong way driver. This means the uh, car starts to alarm you, to um, give notifications, but it will also by all means try to refuse becoming a wrong way driver. So through steering system engine and brakes that will be activated. But we would also like to support fully automated driving functions, functions that are relevant for comfort uh, in a car. So for instance, comfort steering. Here we combine front axle and rear axle. Especially the driver who is not fully um, independently steering will then uh, feel this increased comfort and accept these safety aspects. So let's have a look at the level three and level four of autonomous driving where the driver is still needed in some um, situations. Here it is very important that the interface between the human being and the machine is managed um, appropriately. So here we also offer solutions that detect whether the driver is in the loop or whether um, responsibility has been handed over to him. The second goal, zero emissions, is also something that we um, work on in our Vision Zero vehicle. 
It has an all-electric drive, which is based on our newly developed modularly designed rear axle. So we have mechanical and electrical aspects combined here. But we also have mixed um, forms of the drive line that we use. For instance, we have combustion engines that drive the front axle. And especially when we're building the bridge towards electromobility, we need this technology and this is what we develop technology for so this means the vision zero vehicle is just a milestone on our path towards zero emissions and zero accidents but there are many technological solutions that are already today um, on the road available in the vehicles and one of uh, or among these are intelligent mechanical systems such as the 8-speed automatic transmission 8-HP or our dual-clutch transmission 8-DT. They are very efficient and they are very successful. Last year we sold 2.8 million units of our 8-HP transmission alone. And of course, these transmissions can also be used for electrified driving. They can also be hybridized, also both in the mild version and in the full hybrid version. So they are a valuable and important bridge to future mobility. But there are also other intelligent mechanical systems. Um, focusing on this trend, for instance, the electric steering, power steering system, but also the um, um, front axle steering system and the rear axle steering systems, they make everything more dynamic. These new driveline technologies with power on demand functionalities and many, many more functions. What I would like to mention is um, predictive damping, for instance, because the comfort is going to be even more important in the future because of the driver will not uh, have the responsibility to drive all the time. So even if we uh, drive a robot car without a chassis, nothing is possible. So we still need all of these technological aspects too. So in the field of safety, we have um, for the products, for instance, the integrated brake control, which is a combination of an ESC system and a brake system. It's fully brake by wire capable, which means that it basically covers all drive types, combustion engine and electric motors, and of course, also all the levels of semi-automated or fully automated driving. The SOP will be next year. So intelligent mechanical systems are part of our concepts for the future and of course they are specific goals defined in our vision zero. So we have picked up speed already but we want to be even faster because especially speed is so important in these times of disruptive change. This is essential for us so this is what we are working on with all our innovations. And this is why we have established a Vision Zero ecosystem, which is geared towards these objectives of our group. Part of these ecosystems are partnerships, it's not exclusive partnerships, but also investments and in other companies, minority investments, that is. And with these, we would like to create a networked ecosystem, a networked ecosystem that we do not only know from the new tech companies in the Silicon Valley, but we can also create this um, from Silicon Valley to Europe to Asia. And in particular, this helps us to become even faster and get more power of technology. So let me give you some examples of our partnerships. For instance, the partnership with Foracia. Only um, four months after the start of our cooperation, we have now developed a specific seed concept with Foracia which um, combines all of the aspects that we need for autonomous driving and our engineers want to um, do even much more. And we believe that with this combination, we can develop a lot of great technology for the future. So next, I would like to mention our cooperation with NVIDIA. 
It's a cooperation for powerful computing technology in the vehicle to be able to implement artificial or use artificial intelligence. Then um, we have been able to develop CF Pro AI in a very short period of time because we were able to combine both um, fields of expertise, the computing technology and the automotive um, technology. So we have a very good cooperation and we can combine our expertise to to um, develop great products. We were also to develop a micropayment solution, car e-wallet. So this means that the car is able to settle your invoices. We have already um, started launched a pilot project with ChargePoint and we also have other strong partners for instance, IBM and UBS, we cooperate with them and they, of course, enable us to promote this technology. And at the end of this press conference, I would like to tell you how we will even expand or we have expanded this um, cooperation. But now let's focus on CF again. We do not only increase the pace of innovation with our partners, but also within our company. We have an R&D network with 20 locations worldwide. Last year we spent 2 billion euros for research and development, and we will increase this from year to year. So this, of course, then is added to our Vision Zero ecosystem. But what's also important is um, that we also have um, cooperations with renowned research institutions, for instance, the FKA Institute for Motor Vehicles in Aachen. And now we have signed a partnership with the University of Berkeley in California in the field of artificial intelligence. All of these activities focus on our See, Think, Act motto. So that starts with sensory technology that we need to implement all of the functions for see, think and act, but also artificial intelligence so um, that the car will be able to think in the future and of course our intelligent mechanical system so that everything that can be sensed and thought in the car also needs to be put on the road in a comfortable and safe manner. So in one word, intelligent mechanical systems that are very important in the age of autonomous driving. But we do not only have a nice technological basis, but we also have a very solid economic footing. And this year we will have sales of over 36 billion euros. And we are sure that just as last year, the um, figure of 6% um, EBIT margin will be um, exceeded. And these are important factors because, of course, on the one hand, we have to pay back the debt incurred for the acquisition of TRW, but also um, for future development. The integration of TRW has been almost completed now and much faster than we thought because we planned to implement it within five years and today it's only two and a half years after closing and now all of the structures have already been integrated. We are one company now and with this power of being one company we now um, move towards the future and we want to document this by having one um, brand logo, one new logo. You can see that we eliminated this box around the logo so we basically set CF free and we are now not going to have the CFTRW double logo anymore. This is the new slogan. So we are focusing on the future and um, this logo stands for speed, agility, but also responsibility, accountability, and excluding risks. So as I've mentioned, the network of our Vision Zero ecosystem is growing, and this is why I am delighted that I can announce today that just this morning we signed a partnership with Baidu. And this means that CF will get access to uh, geodata, map data, and together with Baidu, we would like to develop technologies in the field of autonomous driving, mainly for China initially, and especially with our partner NVIDIA. Um, 
and with our Pro AI, SEF Pro AI control box, we will also try to further um, develop this technology for autonomous driving. So from today's point of view, a world without emissions and without accidents may be a distant vision of the future, but as you see in the movie, that we are clearly focusing on the future. We have defined our path and we also have the stamina, both in economic and in technological terms. So this means that on our road to Vision Zero, there will be milestones, there will be shortcuts, and there will be fast lanes. But we believe that there is certainly no breakdown lane. So this means we're going to move forward continuously. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for this press conference. Thank you very much for your attention. And I wish you a very interesting and successful day at this year's IIA. Thank you very much.